Well, hello there. Welcome to another Basics of the Bible video. My name is Christopher Scott, and I'm glad you are joining me. In this video, we are going to look at the fantastic book of Ruth. We're going to look at the book of Ruth. And if you're new to these videos, uh, it's a group of videos, 75 different videos I'm creating going from Genesis through Revelation, and they're all free down there in the description of this video. There is a link at the very top where you can find that playlist and find all of the basics of the Bible videos. So thanks again for joining me. Let's talk about Ruth, the book of Ruth. The one word description I've given for the book of Ruth is redeeming, redeeming or perhaps divine providence is another way to describe it. And Ruth is known as one of the love stories of the Bible. I guess we could call it a love story, but there's many more important themes and different, excuse me, things going on in the book that we could look at that are also important than just simply a man falling in love with a woman. At a time when there was no king and the people did whatever they wanted in the nation of Israel, the book of Ruth tells the story of how the seed of the woman from Eve, from Genesis 3.15, continues on throughout Genesis and the entire history of Israel, and how eventually will lead to the birth of King David, and eventually lead to the birth of Jesus Christ. That's what the book of Ruth is all about. Let's go through a couple notes here on Ruth. The author, uh, we don't really know who writes the book of Ruth, but the Talmud says that it was Samuel. And the Talmud is a, a book of customs and rituals for Jewish rabbis that was written. Uh, just kind of talks about some of the ceremonial rituals that they're supposed to do and guidelines for Jewish priests, the Talmud. And so the Talmud says that Samuel wrote it, but we don't really know who wrote the book. The audience that it was written to is the nation of Israel during uh, the time of Samuel, most likely, uh, to tell where David came from. So, if you've read the book of First Daniel, you know, or First Samuel, you know that uh, Samuel is the last of the judges, and then he anoints King Saul as king, and then he anoints King David. And some people believe that the book of Ruth was written to describe where David's family came from. And it also was written to describe God's goodness and how God was still doing good things during the wicked times of the judges. Uh, the date that it was written was likely um, probably 1010 BC or a little bit later than that, um, right in there, some, some time in there. And I've got some of these notes down there in the description, so if you want to look at them, you're welcome to do that. Uh, the dates of the event that likely take place, it likely takes place between 1350 B.C. and 300 B.C., right in there. And the key verse of the book of Ruth, I chose this key verse, Ruth 4.14. This is at the end of the book where uh, Ruth has become married to Boaz. They have a child, and Naomi holds the child, the baby, her grand grandson. Then the women said to Naomi, as she's holding this baby, Blessed is the Lord who has not left you without a Redeemer today. May his name become famous in Israel. May his name become famous in Israel. And his name, the Lord, does become famous in Israel. Okay, so that's a brief introduction of the book of Ruth. Uh, the book of Ruth is during the prof times of the judges, so... Um, after the law is given in the book of Exodus, there are four groups of people that try to get Israel to follow the law. There are priests, judges, kings, and prophets. And the judges is the time which Ruth is living in and Naomi are living in. So it's a fantastic book. I hope you enjoy reading it. It's only four chapters and shows uh, God's love for us and how he doesn't leave us or fail us. If you have any questions about Ruth, feel free to drop a comment down there. If you found this video helpful, I'd love to have you subscribe to my monthly email newsletter. Uh, there's a, a link to this, subscribe to it in the first comment to this video, and I'll send you uh, one email a month is my promise, and I give you links to the most recent articles that I've had published in the previous month, as well as the newest YouTube videos that I put out here on YouTube. So if you found this video helpful, and would like to stay updated with the new videos, you're welcome to subscribe. 
Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you again soon on another video.